Under the cover of darkness and a hood. You can see him coming on this side. A thief creeps out from alongside a U-Haul rental truck using a flashlight and popping open the hood. He's, he's not worried, he's not rushing. In less than a minute, stealing the battery inside. He literally just unbolts it. This person, one of two thieves captured on video around 11.30 last night, according to U-Haul. This is probably the best view of him that we can see. The pair going row by row, stealing 12 batteries, rendering the trucks useless before taking off. They just took the batteries out from inside here. This General Manager the Mark Smythman says the thieves were methodical. This was targeted. They came prepared and they were able to from popping the hood and taking the battery out took them less than a minute. They were ready to do exactly what they needed to do. After the thieves took the batteries, they made their way towards the back of the parking lot. The manager says likely escaping through this hole in the fence. Another U-Haul store hit two. Thieves stealing five batteries and fuel from this West Sacramento location along West Capitol Avenue. Smythman says gas siphoning happens at least twice a week at his shop. It's very frustrating for us because we want to be able to get the, the customers out the door as quick as possible. The battery replacements and repairs costing thousands of dollars. It looks to me like they possibly loosened the uh, positive and negative post on there and they just grabbed the batteries and jerked them out because all the hold downs are still intact. None of them are loosened up or anything like that. This afternoon, a crime scene investigator with Sacramento police dusted for fingerprints after it appears the thieves weren't wearing gloves. Smythman hoping for a break in the case because the theft costs not only money, but people's time. We know that moving is very stressful and we want to be able to help them out and make this part of it as smooth as possible. And the manager says they have looked at several security options, including having the fence wrap all the way around the property, but they say that is not a viable option because of their overnight drop off. And Marley, do investigators know if these uh, thefts at these two different locations are in any way connected? 